Hi guys, my name is Crystal Rowe and welcome to my floss tube channel. I think this is floss tube 28, I'm not sure. Um, but it is kind of my one year floss tube anniversary. I posted my first floss tube July 29th last year. So today's July 31st. And uh, I have a sleeping dog and then I have Stormy. Stormy update. <laughs> She's playing this morning, so as usual, she's wild. She's doing really well. We'll see. She may climb up here and go to sleep, or she may try to destroy everything. So I'm going I don't have a ton of stitching to show you today, so I am going to do a whip parade, and then um, the few projects I've been working on, I'll talk about those when I get to them, which will be closer to the end because my stack of whips closest to me are a little bit older. So because I'm doing a whip parade, I'm not going to do comments this week. I will try to catch up with comments next week because I do love going over your comments and I do appreciate all your comments. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my video. So let's get started. Before I start with the whip parade, I want to show you my finished quilt top from the uh, Liberty Box from Fat Quarter Shop. So, <clears throat> I absolutely love this. Um, I'll try to put a picture of the full thing because it's not much bigger than that. But I absolutely love it. Let me get closer. This. Oh. And then there's the center. The center block and it has the text print. And here's the other side. So, I love this. I just need to quilt it and bind it. So, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to take it to my mom's. Um, I think her cat, if I take it to my mom's, I think her gray cat will probably lay on it. So, I'm going to keep it here. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my quilt top. And, um... I love this so much that I starched it and just kept working on it. I've been having some back pain, but it had eased up. So every time I felt better, I kept going to my sewing machine and working on it. So it took me about three or three or four days to get everything sewn together, just doing it bit by bit. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm excited because this time next year, I'll have something completed already to decorate with. Okay, so let's get started with the whip parade. Oh no, I lied. First, I gotta show you my stitchy kindness because if I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. So my stitchy kindness was I got my stitching with the Housewives giveaway. I mentioned before that I hadn't heard back from the emails so I didn't know if they got them and I felt kind of like a stalker because I kept uh, emailing. I emailed three times. That's what they tell you to do. They say if you don't hear from us in 24 hours, email us again. Well, after three times, I was like, I can't do this. I feel like a, a like crazy person. And after my last floss tube that day, these arrived in the mail. So there's four. The first one is Coffee Menu. And hopefully the glare's not too bad. Then... Ye Old Coffee House, Sunflower Inn, Janet Jabber, do you have this pattern? And Blackbird Inn. So, I want to stitch Sunflower Inn and Blackbird Inn, and I'm going to pass on the two coffee themed ones at Coffee Menu. And ye old coffee house these are these will be one giveaway so if you are interested in stitching these please be 18 this will be open to international so that's fine I will ship anywhere use the word coffee okay and for my other giveaway winners I have I have one stitchy kindness to mail and a couple giveaway winners I'm sorry I didn't realize until I pulled this stuff out that I hadn't mailed your stuff. So I apologize for the delay. I completely forgot. So I'll get those packaged up this weekend and get to the post office on Monday. So I'm sorry. Thank you for being patient with me. 
Um, yeah, I dropped the ball on that one. So, let's get started with the whip parade. First one. These are not in any kind of order. This is literally how I pulled them off my shelf. <laughs> I wasn't going to sit there and put them in chronological order because I can't remember that well. Stormy just bit me. <laughs> you little stinker. You little stinker. Yes. Okay. On the cover. Got distracted. By Wildcat over here. Okay, heartstring sampling. Let your light shine. Now, this is just plain honoriness. This thing was, <laughs> I would be done with this in one day. And I bought this to stitch for Parker. Well, to hang in our homeschool area. Um, <laughs> and I don't know why. I got the light bulb. All I have left is a little bit of silver right here and let your light shine in text. I mean, that's nothing. I need to finish this for our upcoming homeschool year. I love this. So, why do we do that? I don't know. Okay, my next one is a Christmas pattern. And it is Cory, Cory E. Back to Cory, Christmas in the Snow. And this is one of those patterns that I wouldn't have thought to, bought, to buy, but Pam from Just Keep Stitching was stitching a Halloween version of this, and it was amazing. So, that's why I bought this. And I'm stitching the, oh, Let Your Light Shine is on 14 count chalkboard black. This is on a 28 count Coffee Tea Dad Monaco. So, I just have a little bit done, and... I just started struggling stitching on Monaco. I had started out with that because of stitching with the housewives. And once I started trying other fabrics, I realized how hard I was having to push my needle through on this. And my fingers were getting sore. And that's why I have not picked this up. So, I don't know. But I love the way the white pops on that coffee tea dye. But this is, I mean, this is just a tiny bit of a huge pattern. So... This is one of those patterns that you think, oh, it's not that big, and then you start stitching it, and you're like, this is going to take eight years. Okay, y'all. Seriously, Stormy is fighting everything I pull out of the bag. She's at that age. <laughs> Whoa, look at down here. She's out here like, <sighs> Stormy, you can't do that. Here, can you come up here and go to sleep? <laughs> Okay, my next one is Lizzie Kate and the full chart, it is called Merry Christmas by the Letter and hopefully you can see that. That's what it looks like when it's all together and it says, my favorite time every year, remember and rejoice, Yuletide comes. Christ is born, holy night, ringing bells, icicles glow. Snow falls, time together, magic moments, angels sing, season of joy, and then it has a little um, mantle of stockings. It's kind of like Christmas rules or Halloween rules in that you get these and they have two patterns on each one. Um, like this one has my favorite time every year and remember and rejoice. And these all come with a couple little buttons. And I love this, but wasn't really happy with my fabric choice and I didn't bring my design board today which I'm not getting up now to get it um, this is how much I, I just got it started and just wasn't happy with the white border wasn't popping so I probably should just start this over on a darker fabric or if I had if this is long enough I can coffee tea dye this and make it darker it is, I don't remember what this fabric is. Something I bought, it's a 14 count from Fat Quarter Shop. But I can't remember the color. <laughs> y'all, seriously. She's eating everything that's down where y'all can't see it. Why can't she get sleepy during floss tube? 
And let me tell you why I'm late filming Floss 2. Because <gasps> Thursday night, I started watching this series on Discovery Plus called Relentless. Man, it's good. It was addictive. I stayed up till like three something in the morning and finished it. So Friday morning, I was tired. It's really good though. And my husband started binging it last night. I don't know if he got done with it or not. He had to go into work today. So that's it. That's not a whip. I haven't started that. Okay, this. I don't even think this should even count as a whip, but it does, I guess. This is. Um, well, I laminated the cover. I'll put a picture up. Stitching with the Housewives. Uh, What's in my cup? Beach. And <laughs> barely has like. Oh, there's a needle. I need to get that needle out. I need that. <laughs> this is all I have. <laughs> so, won't be finishing this this year. needle over here. Okay, I need to get Stormy something to play with because she is here. You gonna play with that down there? Go play with that. <laughs> She's like Alright. This is my oldest whip. And I don't think I have a printout of it. But I can pop one up. This is Snow Village, and this is on 20, this, if you've been watching me for a while, I talked about this in one of my videos, about how I won this fabric in a giveaway from Stitching with the Housewives, and that really got me, um, because when I won this, I didn't have the money to buy everything to kit this up, so by winning that fabric, which was like a $25 piece of fabric or something like that, that helped with the cost and i started i writ dyed it with pearl gray and a li little bit of i think it was kelly green i know it doesn't look green but that's what it was and i used their writ dye um chart from their website to choose this color and i just got tired of stitching the white so my mom wants this but she doesn't, she doesn't care enough for me to be like, I've got to get this done. I mean, she was just like, I really like that. I want that. Um, so, but I, it is really pretty. I just, all that white. That's why I, you know, I got to, I guess one day I'll be in the mood. I'll just pick it up and work on it. That day's not today. Okay, let's see. Oh, this was a fail. This was a whip fail that I just never did anything with. I had tried to start this hands-on design Java um, block party for the camp cross stitch that Colorado cross stitch was doing. And I started it on this fabric. And it's 28 count brandywine linen. I could not see the holes. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it at this time of day, I can kind of see it, but that's because it's really bright in here. But I could not see this. I've got this many stitches in before I gave up. This fabric is horrible, and it feels like straw. It's horrible. It's going in the trash. I wouldn't even pass this on to my worst enemy. No way. It's horrible. But I love the pattern now. I love the pattern. I just need to find a... Uh, a different fabric to stitch it on so but that fabric is horrible Ugh. okay this is holiday glow which is a collaboration between hands-on design and squareology and it comes with the buttons that make the little Christmas lights. And I had started this on this piece of navy. And that's as far as I got. I'm not going to finish on navy. I'm going to get a neutral fabric like what's pictured to stitch it. 
So I love that. I just need to restart it. <laughs> 15 minutes in and this cat is still going wild. You want a box? You want a box? Huh? You want a box? dog this is the whip that I don't think I'm ever going to touch again <laughs> I got so sick of this thing this is hello dear from caterpillar cross stitch and I had made some color changes and I just got tired of stitching it I don't know Seriously, what am I going to do with this cat? Every whip I hold up, she's like tearing up. And I cannot have her tearing my stitching up, y'all. Tell me what to do. <laughs> she thinks it's tearing mommy stitching up. You cannot. We got to do this whip parade, girl. I need to give her some uh, catnip or something. Lord. Okay, so this is as far as I got on that. And I had gritted this out with my friction, friction pen. And now that I look at it, it looks really pretty. <laughs> but I got to the point where I couldn't even look at this thing. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll finish it one day. We'll see. I like those colors, though. I like the robin. Alright. I should be ashamed of myself for this one. This I feel a lot of shame today from this whip. <laughs> Because I bought this for my husband, and I don't know if I printed out the cover sheet. Man, it's going to take me forever to go through my phone and find pictures of all these projects. The ones that are online. Okay, here we go. I bought this for my husband, and it's full coverage. It's a Ghostbusters piece, and... It's from Country Magic Stitch on Etsy. And I have barely worked on this. Cause let me tell you why. I started kind of in the middle. And I'm just not a middle starter anymore. I like to start in the upper right hand corner. And starting in the middle was different for me. I gritted my fabric out. And I was just having trouble starting in the middle. So that's some windows. So I think since it's gritted out, you know, it should be correct. I should just start. I should just go up here and start and work my way down here. I need to pull this out maybe one day a month or something for him. Because it wasn't anything I was trying to get done quickly, but I'd like to get it done in a couple years. But that's not going to happen if I never work on it. That's the only project I have for him, which, I mean, he doesn't care. He, I'm sure if I asked him about it, he wouldn't even know what I was talking about. Let's see, what's this? Okay. So, this one. This is another one I don't have a cover for. This is Little House Needleworks. I'm going to show y'all. I can't find the cover. This is the Hometown Holiday Town Church. I have the chart, but I can't find the cover. And I started on blue, and I did all this white stitching, and I got off somewhere, and I just gave up. So, I don't, this is another one that I started really early when I, when I started back stitching. And this blue is a just a blue even weave I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's a 28 count. And I thought it would look prettier than it does but the church doesn't pop on it the way I wanted it to so that's why I never went back to that one this is Stormy's hour right now okay so this is 
Cottontail and Co. by Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I, I had just pulled colors from my stash because I didn't want to order a bunch of DMC. And this was a scrap of Lori Hulk Cloud. And this is a really small start. I don't even know which direction this goes. It's the middle, it's the middle bunny. That's all I have. So when it's time to do Easter stitching, I'll pull this out because I really do like it. But it was one of those things I started really close to the end of when I was doing Easter and spring. So I just didn't keep up with it. But see, it was, I had just started this middle bunny. Once again. Okay, um, so a lot of these have been in Ziploc bags and I haven't been showing my bags, but this is a bag I made which the fabric's kind of sideways. It says keep calm and read on. It has a bunch of, it looks like chalkboard fabric. I didn't even know what was in this. <laughs> this is Cottage of the Month, March. And let's see how much I've got done. Oh, another needle. I'm gonna get all kinds of needles today. Cause I'm low on size 26 so I needed those I'm down to my last size 26 needles so now I've got two more or that could be a 28 this is yeah that's 28 because this is 28 count mushroom Lagana a scrap and that's how far I got on that so not very far just the outline the shutters yeah it's hard to see because the orange I picked is really pale. You can see it better in person. It's just the color I wanted. But on camera, it's it kind of blends in with the fabric. But it's what I wanted for my house. Okie dokie. I think I know what this is. This is another bag I made. It has a little embroidery hoops. I like this one. Just my top from Fat Quarter Shop. This was fun. It was just a lot of stitching, so that's why I didn't finish it. It was a ton of stitching. And this is on 14 count. Uh, the washboard white. So, I got quite a bit done on that. I really like that. I definitely want to get this done for Valentine's Day 2022. Throw these in the floor. <laughs> they're falling. Okay. Next is the. This is in the one of the gingham on the go bags. This is the big one, which is really I don't know. It's too big, really. But this is uh. I put this project in there. This is the. Country Cottage Needleworks Main Street. And I'm doing the whole series together. And this is for, uh, I'm doing this for my husband. Alright, I think I got something to occupy her. I just need to use my scissors to. She found a piece of ribbon. I'm going to cut it here because it was coming out of my ribbon box. There you go. Oh yeah, she attacked that. <laughs> okay, so I'm stitching this. Uh, this is just one of them. I have several of the patterns in here. I'm actually doing the art gallery first. This is on 28 count star sapphire. I think it's Jobelin from Witchell. And I just have a start on the art gallery. So... This is really pretty. It's not showing up on camera very well. It's because I think it's part of my wall is hazel. But this is more green in person. It's really pretty. And that fabric is nice to stitch on. Really nice. I need to get some more Jobelin. To 
really nice stitch on, but I haven't worked very much on this. Okay, so if you stuck with me this long, we're doing another giveaway. And this is the Tudor B by the Blue Flower. So if you would like to stitch this, just use the word B, B E E. Okay. Alright, so this, I don't think that I have all of them here, but I'm stitching the, I'm stitching these, uh, this is Tiny Modernist, it, she has two advents, I think this one's called Christmas Advent. There's two Christmas Advents. One's called Christmas Advent, and I think the other one's just called maybe Holiday Advent or Christmas Calendar or something like that. The one I'm stitching has the manger, it has um, the snowflake is the first one. So I got several of these done last year, but they, the ones that I have done mostly are in my they're in a completely different box because I started finishing them. So there's just a couple here. Let's see. I think there's just one. This is the angel for day seven. Or, se you know. But I have a lot of them done. And then what I did is I already have, this is what I finished them on. These little pieces of mat board. And then I used a little piece of square batting. And I stopped last year because I couldn't find a piece. I, I couldn't find a finishing piece because I stitched them on blue. Everything like a Hobby and Lobby was like buffalo check or, you know, it didn't match blue. So I need to find something that will match my, that will coordinate with my blue fabric. Because I really wanted them on blue. It was, to me, all the colors popped on the navy blue so that's why I did that this is what I'm getting the more newer whips now this is one of my favorite favorite whips and I'm so excited to pull this back out for Halloween this is the blue flower Halloween parade it's pets and costumes and this is how much I've got done I'm almost halfway. Sorry, I can't see the camera to see what I'm trying to do. So, it's super fun. This is a corgi in a unicorn costume. Oh, it's so cute, y'all. I highly recommend this pattern. This is on Coffee Tea Dyed Monaco 28 Count. Love it, love it, love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite whips can't wait to pull this out and I intend to finish this for this Halloween so cute let's see is this even something I did okay this is in my Harry Potter bag that I made and this is a tiny whip I started the summer pillow and I didn't get very far this is also 128 count Coffee tea dyed Monaco. Stormy just bit my toe. <laughs> That's all I've got. A couple flowers. <sighs> I should have known we were going to get to the point where she'd be like, play this, you know, playful. She's eight or nine weeks right now. She, I think she's nine weeks. I'm gonna get a drink. So she's definitely playful. And um, yeah. So I mean, she sleeps most of the day, but at this time she's just running around the house like a crazy cat. And I just went like this and she attacked my finger. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, these are, I'm getting into newer stuff. Alright, so this one is 
a start I started recently and it is um, Tread Softly by Lindy Stitches. I love this. And I'll be pulling this out with my fall stuff. This is on, let me look at the called for color because I can't remember. Thirty-two count Belfast linen in Mediterranean Sea by Witchell. And this is the only project I have that uses silks. It uses DMC. It uses a mixture of Weeks, Dinky Dyes, and DMC. So I just had started the head of the owl. And I loved stitching with those dinky dyes. They're so soft. And I love this fabric. It's like the same color as my wall. <laughs> it's a different shade. My wall color is called Hazel. When the HGTV colors first came out is when we bought this house. And we went in there. And I picked out the colors in like five minutes. And we have not painted this wall. You can still buy Hazel. It's not easy to find. You can't go in there and get a paint chip of it easily, as far as I know. But you can go on, like, their app and get the hazel. And I love this color so much. We haven't changed the color since we moved here. I love it. It's just relaxing and cozy. I love it. So, but we need to buy some more and repaint our walls. So, my next one is Hands On Design Spring Chalk Talk. This was um, Stitchy Kindness from a viewer, and I started, this was one that I started towards the end of my spring stitching, so that's why I didn't continue on it. And there's a huge piece of extra fabric in here that I didn't know I had. Because um, she also sent me, she sent me the whole kit, so I had the fabric, the floss, and the pattern. So that's good, that's a lot of extra fabric. I need to take that out and put it, well, <laughs> and I got this is on 14 count chalkboard black and I got most of raindrops so that'll be a fun pattern to, to pull out and work on next spring or for next spring and this is in the Amazon bag so I love these Amazon bags okay this is my Lori Holt bag another gingham on the go where I stitch the scissors now I th what I might do is every project that I work on this bag, because this is going to be my like permanent Lori Holt bag, is I'm going to do a little motif from that pattern on this bag because I stitched the scissors. And I used four threads, I think, to stitch that. And that was from the sew by row pattern that I initially stitched, used this project bag for. And this is my flea market flowers project. I just wasn't in the mood for this. To me, it's more fall, a fall colors, fall mood. So I'll probably pull this out, you know, maybe next month or something, September, to work on it. And this is on 25 count barley Lugana. Actually, it goes, no. Okay, it goes like this. So I didn't get far on that. And this was a restart. I had originally stitched this on a fabric flare fabric that I, I just wasn't happy with. I like the fabric, I just didn't like it for this project. So I restarted it and that's as far as I got before I put it away. Oh, this is my baby right here. <laughs> this is my first 40 count. This is in a another one of those fat quarter shop bags. And this is my first 40 count project. And this is Patriotic ABCs by Barbara Anna. And that's as far as I got. I'll have to put the picture up because this is from the Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine. So I'll put the picture up of that. And this is on 40 count platinum linen. So I love this. And it's in a hoop with a needle minder. Because... I learned very quickly that I needed a hoop for 40 count at this point. I don't know. Maybe in the future I won't, but. Um, okay. I have 
Madame Chantilly Celebrate Spring. This is one of the tier trays. And this one, when I bought this, I thought this was going to be small. Just all the samples I saw, they, to me, they weren't relative to like real life objects. So in my mind, this was a tiny stitch. I thought it would be like eight inches or something. No, it's huge. It is, I mean, I could have checked it before I bought it, but let me see if I can find the size. It is 244 stitches high by 139 wide. So, yeah, it's big. And I'm stitching this on, oh, I love this fabric. I haven't pulled this out for a long time. This is Be Stitch Me. Let me see if I have the card in there. I don't have the card in here, but this is a Be Stitch Me fabric. It's blue modeled, and this was from when I was in the Be Stitch Me Fabric of the Month Club. It's 27 count Linda, and let me tell you what, it feels so good. This is such a good fabric to stitch in hand. I had two blues. One was called Winter Blues, so I don't know if this is that one or the other one I have. Um, I think the other one's in my stash, or it could be a whip, I'm not sure. So that'll be another one I'll pull out for spring. I didn't get very far on that. And I really want to stitch the Christmas, no, not Christmas, the winter version of this. It has the ice skates on it. I love that. Okay, now we're getting into more newer stuff. Wow. I did not realize I had all these whips, so just hang with me. I'm pulling all these out of my whip basket. Okay, so. This is just a really small star. I had intended on stitching this for Jolly July, but I just didn't stitch a lot of Christmas. This is my Mill Hill Appalachian Santa. This is Allegheny Santa. So I don't have very much done on this. So, yeah, not very much at all. I think that's in his coat, like chest area. I love it. I just haven't been in the mood to stitch it. Alright, my next one is, ooh, y'all, this is the one I love. This is my Barbara Anna, A Night of All Fears. I'm so close to finishing this. I am pulling this out very soon. Shoot, I might work on it today. Um, this is what I have done, so I just have a little bit more to do over here. This is a five part series. This is the first one is stitched on 32 count purple passion linen. So this is the first time that purple has shown up its true color. So the lighting's really good today. It's a lot brighter in here. And this project bag was from when Layla May was one company. I won this from the Layla May Stitching with the Housewives Retreat. Speaking of that, let's do another giveaway. Okay. This was from the Layla May Retreat. And this is a kit. This comes with the pattern that chicken let me see I don't think I started it okay no it comes with the scrap of fabric which is, this is a I believe a 28 count Lugana but that's what it feels like and it comes in this little bag comes with the ribbon for finishing, which is a buffalo check and a yellow. And it comes with, it also comes in one of these bags. And it comes with the paddle, and which was formerly Layla May, but now it's called Stitch Etc. that makes these, these paddles, which I don't know if they sell these, 
but this was in a kit. It's a small paddle. So if you don't like this pattern, if you don't like the chicken, which it's really cute, but if you don't like it, you can finish any kind of small on this paddle. Any season, whatever you want. And then it also comes with the little sticky board and the twine. Now there's supposed to be a covered button. Oh, okay. Yeah, the covered button that goes in the middle of the bow. See that? It's in here too. So, the only thing you would need is a DMC. And that's because the DMC for this was the same DMC that we used for our other project that I did complete. So that's why I don't have a DMC. Um, it's, it's basic colors. It's like 310, uh, white, a yellow, a red. So it's, you know, you probably have it in your stash. So if you want to stitch this one, use the word chicken. Okay. This one is for US only because this would probably cost a bazillion dollars to ship overseas because it's a wooden paddle. So I'm sorry, this is for US only. So you use the word chicken. take a sneak peek at something else to see. Okay, so my next whip is from that retreat and we do not, I do not have the picture, I only have a chart, but I'll have to find the picture from stitching with the housewives because when they sent us this it they didn't have a finished picture of it but this was the retreat piece and I just barely started it this is on a denim dyed 28 count Monaco that Layla May had dyed for this retreat and I had first started it on the 28 count chalkboard black and then I decided to start to do it on the blue. And it's a spring themed pattern. Oh no, I have a picture. Yay! <laughs> That's way better me have to look up online. This is what it looks like finished. It's called Chick's Garden. Um, this actually isn't what it looks like finished. This is just uh, the digital mock-up. And they sent us the finishing piece, which is a barn. So, I hadn't opened this in, like, forever, so that's why I was kind of digging through the bag to see what else was in there. There's a bunch of sticky board in there that I didn't realize was in there. Wow. 43 minutes. Thank y'all who stuck with me for this. Okay. Oh, I have, that's kitted up but not started. Kitted up but not started. This is... Rudolph and Mr. Claus by Stitching with the Housewives. This was another one I had pulled for Jolly July that I didn't work on, but I will work on this later. I just, like I said, I just haven't done much. So this is what I have done. I love this pattern. I really want to get it done. And they have a, one of their Jolly July releases kind of matches it. It has the reindeer holding Mr. and Mrs. Claus like this, and it really go, it really matches this. So I would like to stitch that little piece. It's super cute. Okay, this is my project bag that I made. Um, what was this called? It's hands-on design and so much to love. Pattern. Love my stitching bag. This was my birthday start. And I did not get much done, but I love it. This is Butterfly Cloche from Hello from Liz Matthews. So I haven't touched this since May, which is when my, my birthday was. But um, this is on 40 count. Um, 
XJU designs. This is all I've got done on that. What is this color? Oh, it's so, y'all, this fabric is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, let me see if I've got the card in my bag. Oh, that's for butterfly crochet. I want to say it's Bunny or Bunny's mom or something like that. Here's the DMC. Oh, it's so pretty. I need to work on this. Okay, so this is a clear project bag made by Moda that I had bought from Fat Quarter Shop. And I have two whips in here. I have my Barbara Anna's Dreaming Girl. And this is on 32 count Azure. Azure? Azure? It's the blue linen. And that's all I have. I love this. I just didn't get very far with it. So, I got, I've gotten so caught up in, like, you know, you have your process stitching and your product stitching. Process is the stitching that you just enjoy stitching just for every, it just makes you feel good to stitch it. You don't have necessarily a purpose for it. And product stitching is something, you know, you want to hang on your wall or you want to give somebody and I've gotten really caught up in my product stitching, like stitching for my house to decorate with, and that's fine. So a lot of these projects like this that don't have a purpose, like decorating, like my stitching with housewife projects, have gotten left behind. <laughs> so that's really sad. And my next Barbara Anna is the Up in the Air Sal, which she may have already released it. She's released a lot of this. This is on 14 count Wichelt. This is another one. It's like the same color as my wall. This is, um, I want to say Stony Point. It's a gray green. And this is the one that I was doing the, um, not stop motion. I was doing the time lapse. And it took me forever to, to stitch and stop and take pictures of this. So, when I saw how big the pattern was, I was like, I can't continue with the time lapse. But I do intend on continuing working on this. I love Barbara Anna. So, those are my two Barbara Annas in this bag. Okay. This is my sampler, Ada Billison. 1863 by Wild Iris Naps. And I love this. I was doing really well on this and then I just put it away. This is on Be Stitch Me 27 Count Linda and I think this is Peanut. So that's how far I got on that. It's about 25% done. And I'm low on floss for this one, so I need to order some more floss. It takes weeks, style works. Let's see what are we gonna find in this bag. Oh, this is my calendar crates. My August calendar crates by Stitching with the Housewives. And this is uh, one of my whips from this week. And I worked on this until I could not stand to look at it anymore. So, I'm very close to being done. I have the brown to put in these sunflowers. I have the bottom um, border to finish right here. And just a couple little details and I'll be done. And then I have to stitch the little one. So, um, I'll finish this the next few days to get it hung up in my house. I think I have some finishing fabric that will match it. 
and then I can start September and I can't wait to get October. I know I mentioned this before, but I love the Halloween one. Okay, I just showed this last week and this is my, I haven't done any more on it. This is my Tiny Modernist Moon Phase Bell Pull. This is for Parker. He really loves the moon, space, the universe. So, all I have, this is on 24 count chalkboard black. And that's all I have done. A little bit of the border. This is a start that I need to restart. Well, not really restart. I need to unpick some of it. This is Lindy Stitches Prancing in the Daisies. Or, see, Stretching in the Daisies. And I had started it, but I was using a DMC, a DMC conversion for the um, cat. This is on 32 count Buffalo Check from Hobby Lobby. And Candace K did hers with the called for amber, and the cat looks so good with that amber floss. Um, I may change my fabric because the amber is so variegated, but I'm not sure because I really like this. I really like this buffalo check and I think once all the colors get on there the buffalo check won't be as apparent but next time I do a floss order I'll order that amber and they have released the third in this series and it's a black and white cat it's so cute it is on the punch needle primitive stitcher magazine website they have a preview it'll be coming out at the end of August so that'll be the third one in the series and I want to stitch all four of them I've already stitched the first one okay so this is Silver Creek Samplers Michael's Prayer and I want to pull this out in August to finish before September 11th this is on Lori Holt Oatmeal 25 count Lugana and that's how far I've got so I got the most dense of the stitching done which is the the angel so I need to finish the border on top and the text and I did make some mistakes in this on the text and I think that's why I stopped so I just need to fudge it and carry on I really love this fabric This is another small start. Hands on Design Holly Jolly Farm. Based on Priscilla Blaine's chalk art. This is on 14 count black. And this is what I have done. Just a little bit of the border. but I love the way it pops on this black that made me want to buy some more black and do more on the black instead of chalkboard black I like it the white looks good on it this is my dimensions ornament start and I'm stitching this one the pink house with Santa. I don't have very much on this. This is what I have. So I basically have the sky. So, but I like that. It's got to be in the mood for the Christmas stitching. Okay, here's another whip that I worked on this week. This is my Santa's Village. It's upside down in my project bag. I love this project bag. I made this. This is with Ruby Star Flurry fabric. And I'm thinking a ton done on this. This is on 14 count. Maybe just beige. It's not beautiful beige. I think it's just 14 count beige. Um, and what I did since my last video is I worked on this right here. Putting in the green and a couple of the berries. And finishing the brown that came around here. And that's it. So, don't have much more on that. This is a huge piece of fabric. When you stitch in hand and you have a fabric piece this big, it's a lot. So, 
so I've tried different things I've tried clipping it rolling it up and it seems to be no matter what I do it kind of gets in my way it's better to just leave it out This is my Stitching with the Housewives bag that has a bunch of the patterns that I've started. I think it's trucking alongs. So this is what I've got done of the August trucking along. Just the top of that on 14 count chalkboard black. I'm looking for the uh... hey there's my cover of my August calendar crates that I lost <laughs> and the bonus chart that goes with it sorry I'm looking for my April this is my April start and this is what I have done in April This is February. And this one I split up into two. So I have the top done. Or I think I have one more chicken to put right here. For February. And I haven't started the bottom. But what I want to do is. Um, Wanda. She's in the Stitching with the Housewives group. She stitched her truck in pink. So. I think it was licorice red. I'll have to ask her which color she used. And it looks so good. Um, no, it would be licorice red. I'll have to find out what pink she used. Ripe melon is another color on here, but I don't know if it was ripe melon. The pink truck looks really, really good. So I'll ask her what pink she used. She's uh, She lives in my town, and um, she's also active on Instagram and Facebook with the housewives and Kimberly Stitch Squad. She does a lot of their stuff and she does a really good job. So, um, anyway, it looks really good with a pink truck. If you uh, know the housewives, they're, I don't know if it was tier trade tidbits, but they did the flower market pattern with the pink truck. It looks like that. It's really cute. And let me see if I have any more. I have a bunch of charts in here, but I don't know if I have any more whips. I have a small start. This was a I can't show you the picture because it didn't come with one. It was a bonus pattern for Bunny Love. So I just have that much done. It just It's a little one. It says Bunny Love. It has a heart on it. So eventually I'm going to make one of those um, booklet pouches, which is a project bag that has like four or five zipper pouches in it. It's called a booklet pouch. I have the fabric to make it. Eventually, I'm going to make one of those to put my housewives' patterns in. Because I have so many. And that way, I can keep them all together. Because they pretty much use the same color to floss. This is my Into All A Good Night. This is another one I worked on this week. 14 count chalkboard black. And I added um, all A and started working on more of the reindeer area. So that's what I got done with that. And because I was working on my quilting stuff and binge watching TV, I didn't get a ton of stitching done this week. I did stitch every day. I just didn't get as much done as I normally do. I'm down to the last one. Can y'all guess what it is? If you watch me every week and watch my sister's me, you're going to know what it is. It is my drum roll. Went to Rose Manor. So I the Gervais. And this is where I'm at. So, since my last floss tube, I finished this basket. And I started on this. And I made some mistakes in here, but it's fine. I'm not worried about it. And I started on these trees. I got a needle in there because this is what I was working on before I started filming. 
and then I had to pull out and fix this flower. Now when I fixed it, I put it in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be like one stitch this way. But you know what? I like it. I think it looks fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I kept calling these flowers, but I, they're berries, but I can't call them flowers. I messed those up too. I put the open spot in the wrong spot, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's still pretty. <laughs> but, sorry. <laughs> Myself the needle. Um, and now that I'm getting closer to getting this done, I have been working on it more than 25 minutes a day. So, that will get done sooner than later. That's everything. So, the three giveaways um, are the word chicken. That's for U.S. only. B is for anyone 18 years or older. You must be a subscriber to win. Um, and the other one was uh, coffee. For the Little House Needle Works chart. So, those are the three keywords that I will search for. My other giveaway winners, I'll get yours out soon. And I just, I appreciate you guys. I hope I didn't forget anything. This is a long video. I hope you stuck with me. And that's it. I hope you have a good week. This is Parker's birthday week. So I have a lot to do for him. And I hope he has a great week. I'm really excited. He's going to be 11 years old. He's so funny. He cracks me up. I, I love this age. It's really fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. He sasses and, and he gets a little ornery sometimes. But they do that at every age. They get ornery in their own way. So, this is a really, really fun age. He he can't wait to be a teenager. He wants to be a teenager so bad. So, anyway. <laughs> I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for joining me. And thank you for being with me for my one year floss tube anniversary. Bye.